Terry Pratchett's Hogfather is Sky One's major live-action adaptation of Terry Pratchett's best-selling book of the same name. This world began in the early 1980s and really, I suppose, it was initially an antidote to fantasy. You've got to do a big fat laugh, sir. No, like... <laughs> I wanted to write one about what makes us human. And what makes us human is really our imaginations. If you don't believe in the Hogfather, there won't be any presence. Is it a good thing that children believe in the Tooth Fairy or believe in the Hogfather, or shall we say Father Christmas? Yes, we need to train our imagination on the little lies so we can believe the big lies like justice, truth, and by taking them seriously, make them into something that is real. Would I give you a hand? For various reasons, I was quite suspicious uh, for quite a long time into this process, um, thinking it's too good to be true, you know, it can't possibly happen. And I think the day when it suddenly came alive for me was when I went to Angels to be uh, tried out for my costume. And I was there for about an hour, and they were really trying to get it right. They have the same kind of look you get from people that spend all, you know, Victorian guys that spend all their time in the library, you know what I mean? A bit yeah. hunched, a bit, bit yeah. confused, yeah. very, very wrapped up in what he does. Yeah. <laughs> and I was ever so pleased, especially with the shoes. You know, they were the kind of shoes that Baldrick out of Black Hatter would have thrown away. They were absolutely marvellous. And I thought, this is, this is really going to happen. And they're really taking it seriously. And it really is going to happen. And, Characters on this world always gravitate towards the golden age for that type of profession. So barbers are always barbershop quartet members. Uh, ladies of the night are always approximately wearing the clothing of uh, late 19th century Paris. And a toy maker has to look as if he's just created Pinocchio. <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible thing to say, but we might have achieved a look here. Dear me, uh, Maybe, maybe here is an end to wearing black. Day one of the shoot and the star of the day is being made ready for action. I think I have about 27 words to say. I think I'm on set for a fairly small amount of time. Um, I think we'll all be over and done with in five minutes. Action! You have a big wooden rocking horse in the window. Uh, that, in fact, is a uh, special order. I will give you 50. Would you like me to wrap it up for you, sir? And Carl, lovely. Excellent. <coughs> Terry, that was fantastic. It's very exhausting. It's the standing around that wears you out. Um, I think the highlight for me was when they said, cut, that's a wrap, and all that sort of thing, and you can go now. That was a good bit. I, I really liked that. <laughs> you would get into trouble playing with ghosts. I didn't think it was going to be this good. I didn't think people were going to take so much trouble to get it right. I didn't think that so much creativity would go into it. Awesome. I'm just overwhelmed by the whole thing. I've got an open invitation to come here every day. Regrettably, I can't make it every day, but that would be kind of fun. And action. What am I going to do now? <laughs> it was so brilliant. It was so we've got to do it. Do, do it again. It was just brilliant. But see if you can keep going this time. <laughs> what the hell? I want to see the whole movie. I want to. See, I want everyone else to see it too.